y'all. How are we doing? Um, so today I'm back at it again, testing out things, uh, ways of doing this here, uh, touching up the wallpaper paint. And uh, I just wanted to address some comments and questions. People are telling us to leave the gaps and uh, why are we filling in the gaps? So let me show you. So here is the original wallpaper. And as you can see, there's only gaps here in the middle where um, the pattern kind of goes together on these little um, flower looking bits. There's no gaps. So we have to fill it in just to be correct. That's what Kayla wants. That's what we're doing. We're just making it original or <laughs> it's not wallpaper. We're doing paint, but you know, we want the original pattern. So, um, you know, a couple people saying like, if we do other things right now, you know, this is a waste of time and we want to get this room completely done. So I don't see it as a waste of time. Um, I had a people, had some people asking why not try it up by the ceiling? Well, I'm trying it down here because the beadboard goes, you know, up to about here. And then the trim is going to go about here, you know, it goes over the top of the beadboard. So I've got plenty of room here to do some practicing. Also, so Caleb had this stencil made uh, for filling in those gaps. I don't think he enjoyed using it um, because that's why there are still so many gaps. So you can see it's the, the gap area. And uh, so I cut out a small piece. So you can see here's one whole piece. Oh, except for the top part here, but you know. We'll figure it out. But um, I'm gonna try using that with the uh, spray adhesive. So you just spray it and then figure out where you're going, pop it on there, and then uh, fill in the paint. So yeah, let's try this. But real quick before we get going, I mean, I just wanted to show you, like this is a really good looking area right here. And there's still um, areas here, like this will need to be touched up obviously with the yellow paint. Um, there's just areas that just, even without filling in the gaps that need to be touched up, you know, it got a little blurry here. That'll have to be touched up with the yellow. Same, just kind of all over the place. And we'll have to do the corner here by hand. Just, you know, it just all needs to be touched up. So we want to get this room completely finished. So we don't have to worry about it anymore. And you can see there, things got a little muddy. So we just want to get it done right now. So yeah, let's start trying to paint. Oakley doke. So I've got my little palette of paint and then I've got my new brushes to try um, I want to see if I can freehand this before I get into trying to stick the stamp up everywhere so I'm gonna try this little um, tiny guy sorry I'm trying to when I use my tripod I put it with the uh, screen facing the tripod so that the you know the back facing camera is facing out so it makes it hard to see what I'm filming. So let's try this. And yeah, like I said, you know, anywhere from like down here down is like fair game as far as testing things out. So yeah, just a tiny, tiny bit of paint there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, I don't know, we might have to go with the stamp because it is a little awkward. Hmm, let me try a different brush. Kind of had high hopes for this um, thin guy, but that's also wide that way. Might have a little too much play in the in the bristles though. All right, well that's not awful. Hmm, not bad. Yeah, this is just an awkward spot down here to try this. Hmm. Not bad, but let's try it with the steel. stuck up there. Okay, so I got my stencil up. Let me get this little tiny brush, the smallest one. This is a 20 slash 0. 
So this little tiny one, and I'm not gonna go all the way up here because I feel like that might be on the cusp of like not being behind the beep, uh, the uh, trim. So I'm gonna do like the lower half and see what we think. Sorry if I'm making any stupid faces. I realized um, in the last video while I was editing that I, my concentrating face was very, very full, full out there. That's not completely stuck down so I'm because I was holding it from right here when I sprayed it. So I'm not going to go over there. Just trying to make sure it's like fully opaque. All right. Moment of truth, y'all. Let's see. Okay, so that's not cute. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, shoot. I don't know how I feel about that either. It kind of bled out of the uh, from behind the, the stencil or something. Maybe I had too much adhesive. Let me go right here and try. Ah. Oh, that is perfectly lined up. I'm probably getting paint on me right now. Well, it's not wanting to stick. Hmm. a little bit. All right, let's give it a try here. Oakley doakley.
Hmm. I just don't think that that's going to work. Let me take it all off the tripod here so we can get a closer look. So yeah, here's the first one that I did. So you can see that here, I didn't get down here because that wasn't part of the stencil, but here, and then these lines here, not great. And then here's my second try. Yeah, not great. I don't know. We were probably going to have to freehand this if I'm going to do it at all, <laughs> which I really don't know. I might not have a steady enough hand. Okay. I just feel terrible because Caleb is working on, you know, projects that are a little bit more than, you know, I can take on. Like getting the toilet ready to put in working on tile and all that. And so I feel like this is just something that I should be doing, but I just don't know if I'm able to. And I feel terrible about it because that's just one more thing that he has to do. Yeah, this one's too long. It has too much give in it. Gosh darn it. Oh, ooh, well that looks really good, doesn't it? Okay, right there. I did a good job. Well, not so much. <laughs> hmm. I might be able to handle this, y'all. Okay, so Caleb's back, so let me show you what I did. <laughs> what you got? Okay, so here I did stencil. Here and here. This part wasn't in part um, of it. Um, that's glue. You can't get that on there, so don't use that anymore. Mm. Well, then I used it again over here, but it didn't do that, so I don't, I don't know. Um, but yeah, here's with that. You can see here. I didn't go that far down, but I did these. Where's, where's the paint? Um, There's some right there. You're not able to keep the line? Is it, you know, I don't know. And then I did, where did I freehand? Um, I freehanded over there. I don't know, you might be better at this. Well, uh, there's one thing about it. I have a, a lot of practice with a brush. I know, but I'm, I'm just hoping that, I was hoping that I would be able to do this. So that you don't have to take time out. You know what I mean? But I don't know that my hand is steady enough. Yeah, I mean, it's not easy. That's no. why That's why when you said initially, when you said you could do it, I'm like, well, you know, you can give it a shot. Yeah, so I've been trying to give it a shot, but I just, I don't know, you know, and I don't want to um, ruin it, you know? You know, it takes a very steady hand to do it. And I don't have a steady hand, and you've had so much practice doing it. Well, I mean, that's okay, though. I'll do it. Like, I know, I just don't, you know, you already, here's... No, that's not me. Um, I freehanded. Where? Oh my gosh. See, they have to be at least like I. I feel bad about some of these ones that I've done. Like that's a mistake. Yeah, but um, that's a mistake. Obviously, we're gonna have to come back in with the yellow and touch that up after we touch up the red, anyways. Yeah, you have to so. cut in. Um. 
So I did some freehanding like over here, but obviously like this it's not good. You know what would help a little bit? Hmm. This paint's so thick. I would, um, I don't know if it'd be paint thinner. I don't know if it's water based well, or I not. I mean, that's been but sitting in a spoon drying up. You can even still get it. Try my little palette. Because you have to keep the brush so, so pointed, right? Yeah, that keeps coming off. Garbage brushes, eh? I thought that they were okay, but yeah, that keeps coming off. But yeah, that is oh, the yeah, one that I liked the most. Okay. That shape, it's the, the one that's a little wider, but still flat. It's got a, a like slight shape. chiseled shape to it. No, it's flat tipped. It's not chiseled. It's just a, uh, like this instead of being like yeah, just Even still, if it were a uniform. bit more viscous, like if you'd mix, well, here, let's pop a little water in it. You want to put water? You're, you you're turn the spoon the... to put a little bit because that's going to overflow. No, I was going to put one in this and mix it. You're going to put water in that? And mix it. There's, It's going to overflow. Look at it. I was going to put it in here and mix the paint into the water. Ah, it's Wapsato. That makes sense. Okay, come on. I mean, here, don't even turn it on. <laughs> All right. Oh, and some people were asking about the, um, the shutoff. It's just a quarter turn, so it's really quite nice. Just having water at all is really nice. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Like when I was driving over here, I was like, I want to eat some Cheetos. I bought some Cheetos the other day at the grocery store. I was like, I want to eat some Cheetos, but, um, you know, I pet the dogs before I left and, you know, touched the car door. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just kind of a germaphobe. So I was like, well, I don't want to put my hand in a chip bag. And I was like, I can wash my hands first. Hello. Oh, here goes Caleb artisting. Push that, <laughs> you grab the, because I can't pull all three things. Towel? Yeah, paper towel, mate. Just, I just need to clean this off, so it's. <laughs> Give it here. Watch that. Don't don't right. try to come down into the bristle. You'll mess it up. Mm. It's best to pull with the with the. Um... Oh yeah. You're gonna ask me how I know. <laughs> so <laughs> many brushes. I was like, what was that? Toasty oven. Here, come where I'm standing and do like right here and see. Let's make sure that everybody can see what's going on. Yeah, do do like right here. Check out right here so they can see. Sure, you have enough pigment on the thing because it's a kind of pink. Mm -hmm. I mean, the light levels in here will be less. Yeah. It will be quite a bit darker. Mm -hmm. Ugh, yeah, you're the one. That makes me sad. At the end of the day, everything comes with practice. I know, but so I I, this just, is not the place to practice. No, I prefer <laughs> to practice. <on> these. <laughs> That's why I was doing it down here. So, yeah, I definitely because I was I had um, talked to them about you know, you know why we're filling it in. And I, I mean, I think it looks cool with the lines too, but, or with the gaps too, but it's just not how it was, so. Well, an absolute perfection wouldn't have mattered anyways, because almost every wallpaper had a, a built-in layer of imperfection to it. Mm. Because, you know, when they did things, they were just imperfect. Yeah. And like that, you know, element of being slightly imperfect, I think is what makes it beautiful. Mm-hmm. Agreed. <clears throat> Hopefully that dries a little darker than it's, it's showing on the palette here. Oh yeah, because you mix the water. I mean, it's drying. It dries a little bit darker than the red on the wall, if you can see. So might not be a bad thing. Well, you know, I guess it's all yet to be seen. We'll see how it ends up looking. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, there's a little bit of cut in, but I mean, yeah, I can do these fairly quickly, right? Yeah. But uh, the problem is just. Uh, there's a lot of them. Yeah, exactly. You know, if I had to do this all in one go, it would take me two weeks, <laughs> probably. Just because it's a lot. And then at some point, you got to sit down. You got to mm -hmm. have a rest because just mm -hmm. doing this like this. And there's some really weird little spots here and there. Yeah. But, you know, everything needs a little bit of a touch up, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. I just, before how I was doing this, is spraying spray paint into a cap and doing that. And I don't want the smell in here that much. No. This, I understand for this, but for, you know, other processes. Mm -hmm. 
I just wish I was good at more things, you know? You have to practice at more things. If you want to be good at anything, you just you just practice. No, I hear you. I'm just saying, I mean, you know, I wish I could just do but, this. you know, like you see how I'm like planting my hand and then before you just check it, you know? Mm -hmm. Make sure it's not, well, there's too much paint on the brush then, but make sure it's not too much paint and then start on one side and go to the other. Mm -hmm. And it's multiple brush strokes. So one of those things though, like Rue, you don't, um, if you don't have a reason to learn it or a want to learn it, you're not going to learn it. Mm -hmm. And so you haven't had that reason until recently. So it's going to take you a while to acquire some, some different skills and that's all right. It's all kind of part of the fun, right? Mm -hmm. I know how to drywall. Yeah, well. I know how to do a frame out a wall. There's very little of that gonna be happening. I know. It's all very specialized, detailed work. Mm -hmm. I'm good at painting. Not like this though. <laughs> it's solid, why all solid those, color. Just all those people wall. we went on the, the tour with, you know, they all have more money. They can, you know. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, it's a lot of discussion of, oh, who are you hiring? And it's like, well. Nobody. <laughs> for us, it's there's, you know, there's, there's, I can't afford to hire anybody. No. So I better be good at what I do. I mean, you're always good at what you or do. Right, or I figure it out. Yeah. You know, I want to be the guy that helps other people put their houses back together at some point. I think everybody in our community deserves a, a level of quality of work that they're not going to be able to get. Mm -hmm. So I can yeah, be that guy. Yeah, there's so many people out there doing shoddy work. Yeah, there are. So, 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 so many. And I'm not even, you know, the best at anything. I just sure. kind of have a little idea of what I'm doing on each little individual project. You take to th you take to things easily. Oh, I take time, try to learn it. Yeah. No, but I mean, like, when you started doing plaster, still that same, that first wall is so nice. You no, know, fresh bag. <laughs> Let it sit for long enough. Did all the right things. Wasn't hot. Yeah, it was cold, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was about a year ago, huh? It's nice and cold here then. Yeah. Probably a little over a year at this point. Wow. <laughs> I like to think we've come very far, but... <laughs> yeah. It doesn't feel like it. No, it doesn't. But again, you know, it's if you want to do something... It's just us doing quality, things. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's other little things like the gutters and... Well, sure. It smells like taquitos. Caleb's making hot dogs in the toaster oven. Will you uh, make sure those aren't burning for me, please? Yeah. 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 Ooh, they look good. Are they a tiny bit charred? No, I turned it off, so I'm gonna leave them in there. If they're not burning or anything. See, but, they're, they're you good. know, just little by little fill them in, it's not. Yeah, and I mean, like, this isn't something that has to be done now. I mean, we want the room to be done, done, but, like, it's, it's, oh, oh, sorry, I mean, this can be done, you know, at any point in the future, so. I would like to get most of this area done. Hang on, I can't see you. Let me take it off the tripod. Guys, I'm going to take you off the tripod. Well, I mean, you just up Oops. above where we're at right now, because this is where the toilet goes, and once we hang that tank, oh, like, okay. I, can, I can motivate around the sink fairly easily. Mm-hmm. We should probably handle that panel too, but this one's not so bad. Okay. Because I can get a ladder and to reach over and get it. It's not a problem. Like that's only you know, a foot and a half. Yeah. Um, so I'm not so concerned about that. Um, and then these ones I'm not going to do at all because we have the medicine cabinet going here. Genius. Um, so I'm not going to waste my time. Mm. Um, so smart. If somebody takes the medicine cabinet down, I'm like, oh, I'm so <laughs> offended. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, Caleb's just going to keep going with this for a little bit, I guess. Well, I'm going to eat my hot dogs on the <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess that settles it, y'all. I'm not going to be the one doing this. Caleb's artistic skills are really coming in handy, so this is not the job for me. And I'm glad I know that. So I don't keep trying to do it, you know? Just accept it as it is. So I thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you later this week. Okay, take care. Bye.